Carmichael. Uh, Mr. Speaker, listening to the honourable gentleman who just sat down, it's difficult to avoid the conclusion that somehow or another we've landed back in much the same way in the 19th century we spoke about the deserving and the undeserving poor, yes. but now today we have landed in a place where we have the deserving and the undeserving desperate. Yes. The honourable gentleman might be aware, for example, that of those who crossed the Channel last year, he referred to the number who were men. 7,177 of them were children. Oh. So the characterisation that he and others have made today <laughs> is frankly not borne out by the statistics provided by the Home Secretary and the Home Office themselves. There are many different reasons why the people in this House should vote against the Bill this evening. We may choose to vote against it because of concerns about legality, both in respect of our domestic legislation and our international obligations under treaty. It is difficult, Mr Speaker, for those in the Treasury bench to deliver lectures to those in Beijing in relation to adherence of international law if we do not live up to the same here, standards here, ourselves. Here. As the Right Honourable Member for Maidenhead, the former Prime Minister, said, there should be concerns, and we can refuse that we can reject this bill on the basis of the impact it will have on our world leading legislation in relation to modern slavery. We can even reject it because it lacks a basic sense of British compassion. I was a minister in the government that abandoned detention for children for immigration purposes, and I am horrified to see the Conservative Party seeking to restore it yeah. today. But if compassion and concern for the rule of law are not enough to speak to your values, then I can offer you one further reason, and it is simply this. It will not work. It will not achieve the deterrent effect that it seeks to claim. We have been told this before. We were told that the Nationality and Borders Act was going to be the act that would solve the problem. But what has happened since that came into force? The numbers have gone up and up and up. The truth of the matter is that many people who deserve asylum and are entitled to asylum at present, if this bill passes, will not get it. And what will be the consequence of that? They will be sent away and many of them will die. That is why this House should reject this bill tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Sir Ian Duncan Smith. Speaker, I rise 